Hey guys, welcome to Creative Area. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a live search result on your website using the Elementor plugin without the need of any additional add-on plugin. Okay, so at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create something that looks like this. So when you come over to this search here and you type, take for instance, you type seeds, this, this is what we're going to get. It's going to give us a result here, which is clickable. You can click on this and then it will take you to the page. You can even come here, search for Woo, which is also a product. This is a product on our website. Now you can, this is highly customizable. You can design this however you want to suit whatever project you're working on easily without any additional plugin. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. In our Elementor editing screen, I've already taken the time to design this structure here where we're going to create our live search result. But before we get started, let's run over something real quick. So let's come over here and search for the search widget now let's drag and drop this widget now this is an old search form widget we are used to that just have a basic search um, content for us to work with now elemental recently released a latest version of their plugin that came with an updated version of this search widget which we're going to work with in this tutorial and i'm going to show you how to get started with it and make use of it on your website and get the perfect live search result easily okay so let's come over here and delete this so to get started with this feature here let's update this now let's come over to our dashboard on our dashboard we're going to come over to the metal and then head to the settings now on the settings we're going to come over to the feature and let's scroll down to where we see the search and we're going to come here and set it to active and then we're going to come down here and click on save changes okay so now that we've done this the next thing we're going to do we're going to go back here to our editing canvas and we're going to refresh this Okay, so now I'm going to come here and let's search for the search widget. Okay, this is the search widget. Now let's drop it here. Now you can see now that we have other options, more options compared to the previous form of search form. So you can see we have the search widget field, search field, the result field, and the query field. Now under the search field, it's pretty basic. Now what is added here, you can see now that we have this auto complete. Now when you toggle this to show, what it does is whenever your PC does us, you're making use of the search form, it brings this pop up here where they can select from already text they've already typed before okay and then i'm just going to toggle this to hide and uh, they also come over to the submit under the trigger you can see i have options here for the submit button that is making use of the submit button as your trigger or the enter key on your keyboard as your trigger or you can make use of the boot i advise you make use of boot which is better and then there is option for you to set icons for your search button icons for your input area here as well so now we're going to come over to the result. This is where you get interested, the live result. Now, we're going to toggle this to show. Now, this gives you the ability to choose a template you've created as for your search result to display. Okay. Now, with this feature here, you're, you're given the opportunity to design what you want your live search result to display like, which is pretty wonderful. Okay. Now, we've not designed any template for that. So, we're going to design one from scratch in this tutorial right here. Is where you have the query and then over here is the source where you can select with which source you want your search result to pull data from it could either be from all or it could be from product post pages and if you've also created a custom post you can also select it here as well okay so now let's go back here and let's create a template that we're going to use for our search live search result so to do so there are two ways we can go about doing that you can either come back here to our dashboard and then head over to the template and then come over here and click on the team builder and then go and click on um loop and start creating and look for that which is pretty much long to me so i'm just going to come here still on the editing canvas i'm just going to come over here and then search for the loop and i'm going to drag the loop grip and drop it right below here now i'm going to choose my template type to be product and then i'm going to come over here and click on create a template then click on save and then allow for it to load and yeah just loaded and giving us this option here where we can create our template so we're just going to click on this plus icon select the flexible container and select this structure here now i'm just going to come over here let's talk with them. let's turn on our navigator so we see what we are doing right here i'm going to come and i'm going to drag and drop this container here now for this container i'm going to duplicate the container now for the first container i'm going to come over to the first container set the width to 40 percent and then for the second container, I'm going to set the width to 60%. Okay. Now for this first container here, I'm going to come over here and drag our featured image and drop it right 
here. Okay, now I head to the style option for the feature image for the width. I'm going to come over, set it to pixel, and then give it a width of 100 pixel. For the height, I'm going to give it a height of 100 pixel as well. Okay, and then I'm going to align this to the left. All right, that's good. So now that I've done that, I'm going to come over to the border and give it a border radius of 20 pixel all around. So we'll have something that looks like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this second container here, and I'm going to drag our post product title and drop it here. Okay, now for this, I'm going to come over here to the style option, change the text color to white, and then uh, we're going to come over to the typography. The font size, I'm going to set it to 20 pixel, and then uh, let's increase it to 22 pixel, and then for the width, I'm going to set it to semi bold, and then I'm going to come over to the container. Uh, under the layers, I'm going to justify content to the center, so you have something that looks like this. Now I'm going to go back to the parent container here. Head to the advanced settings and then for the pattern, I'm going to give it a pattern of 20 pixel all around. Or I'll we'll make it 10 pixel. 10 pixel all around, which is better. And then I'm going to go over to the style. Now for the background type, set it to classic and let's give it a background color. Now let's come over here, let's select color like. Okay, like this. All right. Okay, so now let's come over to the border and uh, then let's give it a border radius of 20 pixels all around. So we now have this, which looks great. Okay, so we can come over here. Let's change this color to black. Let's see which goes well. Uh, black kind of look great to me. Uh, depends on whatever you want. Black looks okay for me. So now for this, let's make our product title and product image clickable. So let's come over to the content and uh, then for the dynamic tag, set it to Post URL for the image. We're going to come over here to the content and then add the link custom URL dynamic to set it to post URL. Okay, this is great. So now we've created our so this we've created our template. Now let's come over here and to the settings and let's rename this template. Let's give it a name. Now let's call this template new live results. Okay. All right. So now that we've done that, let's come over here and let's click on save and back. Okay, so this is it. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to come over here. Let's delete this. We won't be needing it anymore. And let's come over to this, our search form. And let's come down here to the search result. Now under this template here, we're going to type new life results. Yeah, this is the template we created just now. All right, so now we have additional options here. We can set the minimum search character. What this means is that the amount of character you want your visitors to type before they get a result on the website. So leaving it at three is fair and it's okay. Now this is the column, how you want your search result to display. And then here, this is the item you want the result, which is six. And then here you have the option to set the nothing found image, which is whatever they search for a term that is not found on your website. This is the, what they will get. They will see it's going to show them. It seems like we can't find what you're looking for. You can change the text to whatever you want. And then we're going to come over to the query we can set the query here to product okay and then we can go over to the style option now for the style option there are a series of options here where you can stylize your search for search fields and then you can also come over to let's stylize it a little bit let's just give it a border radius of let's say 20 pixel okay and then you can also come over here set the gap between the input and the button you can add the gap depending on where you want okay and set it to 10. Now we won't be doing much here. Now let's come over to this. For this one here is this clear is a is this button here, this icon here. Okay, so we can just come over here, change the color to red. Okay, now let's go to the submit button. For the submit button, we can come over here and for the background type, we're gonna set it to classic and I give it a background color of something like this. Okay, and then we can even give it uh, set the pattern. For this, uh, we can set a better radius. I won't be doing anything fancy here because this is just for us to have the basic idea on how to go about creating a live search. So now tweaking it to help you define it is left for you and your project you're working on. Okay, so I'm just going to come over here. And now for this, the width of our search form is quite long. So to reduce this, we're going to come over to the advanced settings and then we're going to go to the width, set, the, set it to custom, and then we can reduce it to whatever we want, maybe 60%. Let's set it to 60% or 50. 
40 less 32 40 okay 40 percent which is great now let's come over here to our container and then for under the layout let's come over and align items to the center okay so we now have our search form looking great okay so now let's come over here and let's update this and let's preview what we'll have All right, this is our live search result. Now, let's come over to the product. These are the various products we have on our website. Okay, so now if I should come over here and let's say I type for Wu, because there are so many products here that contain Wu. So I'm going to come over here and I will type for Wu. We type Wu. And uh, this is it. We're going to have this wonderful results here. As you can see, it's six, one, two, three, four, five, and six in number now. We're going to come back here under this here we can come over here and then we can reduce it under the results reduce the number here from six we can even come over here and then let's set it to three let's set it to three we can also come over to the style options here for the results under the results we can come over to the background type we can change the background color to transparent and then we'll come over to the border and then we're going to set the border to solid so here when we type boom here can see what we have here. You can see this is the border here. So now we'll set the border here to none. It's going to disappear. And this is what we we'll have here for search results. You can still come over here, tweak it, and then just design it as be creative with it. And then you can come up with a wonderful search, live search result. And then we'll come over here. Let's update this. And let's search another time. And then if you do not like what you've typed, you can just come over here and click on delete. And then we can come over here and then let's search for something else. Take for instance, let's type ship. Let's search for ship. Okay. You can see here, this is it. Now when you click on this, it's going to take you to the various page because we've already made it click it. And this is how you can add a live search result on your website easily without the need of an additional add-on. And so we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you've learned something, you remember to Give this video a thumbs up so that other people can see it as well. And if you're new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when there's a drop on your video. And feel free to drop your comments wherever you're confused or have questions or suggestions. And I'll do what to attend to as much as I can. But until then, see you on our next video. Bye bye.